Some years ago, the then VA Systems Land System South Africa developed this RG41 Wheeled Armoured Combat Vehicle. Since then, the vehicle has undertaken a number of trials, both in South Africa and overseas, and now it is a part of the Denal Vehicle Systems product range. A key, a key feature of this vehicle is that wherever possible, it uses commercial off-the-shelf elements, and not only to reduce cost, but also because they're ITAR free. It has a very high level of mobility, steering on the front four wheels, and is fitted with a central tyre inflation system, which allows the driver to adjust the tyre pressure to suit the terrain being crossed. When we first saw it a few years ago, it was fitted with the TRT30 turret, which can be armed with a Russian 30mm 2A42 dual feed cannon and a 7.62 coaxial machine gun. Another alternative weapon would be the 25mm uh, M242 Bushmaster. This particular vehicle has got a different turret. It's got a turret which is very similar to that fitted to the Badger Infantry Fighting Vehicle, uh, which has been selected by the South African Army as the replacement for its Rafter series. A key feature of this turret, obviously it's two-man, and it's got a 30mm Denal Land System dual feed cannon and a 7.62 machine gun. It is a member of a modular family of turrets. Other versions include one with a 60mm mortar, another one with a machine gun, and another one with anti-tank guided missiles mounted either side. As you can see on the top is, is a panoramic sight, and that allows the commander to carry out hunter-killer target engagements. Development is, is essentially complete and a future customer could either have these vehicles from the production line in South Africa or through a technology transfer where the first vehicle will come from South Africa, the next stage would be in a kit form and probably eventually local assembly. But in most cases, local assembly normally means key automotive items like the engine, transmission and drive system continue to be imported.